Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is not for the close-minded individuals. The ones who can't take anybody else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. PlayStation 5, here to tell you all about my specs. I have a CPU AMD Zen 2 base CPU with 8 cores at 3.5 GHz, a memory interface 16 GB, 256 bit, with a memory bandwidth of 448 GB, and did I also mention I am very flexible. So, Sony, I am begging you, please send me a PS5, or you will be known as homophobic and racist. JK, ha, ha, ha. But seriously, send me a PS5. Hello guys, it's me, Pierre, aka Nina Bonina Banana Papana. I can't get a goddamn PS5 brown. Welcome back to all my piggies who are normally here. If this video does attract anybody new, welcome to my channel. No, this afro is not real. No, these contacts are not real. The only thing real is my feelings about not getting a PS5. <clears throat> yeah, but if you want, please subscribe. But I, let's get right to it. The PS5 launch has been a nightmare, a disaster. Horrible. Deplorable. And I'm quite sure there are so many people out here who can relate to this on a spiritual level right now. Now, this is not the video for the people who, you know the people, when you're on Twitter and you're doing your complaining, which you're rightfully t entitled to because it's been a horrible shit launch. And they're like, well, guys, you know it's a pandemic, right? Well, I got mine. It wasn't that hard. Shut the frick up. <laughs> it's not that easy for everybody. Like, you just got lucky. Like, you happened to get really lucky. And if you didn't get yours, you would still be on Twitter complaining just like everybody else. We all have lives. We all know that it's just a game. It's not that serious. But then it kind of is, though. And if you're like me and you have anxiety, even though this is nothing important, like this is like a video game, who, who, who should care? But when you have anxiety and you're trying to get something and your anxiety goes up, it's like horrible. But let's just start from the beginning. Okay, right, so everything was a failure right from the get-go. Right when they had the launches around September, I remember hearing that it was coming because like I was on like a Skype call or something with some friends. And we knew way ahead of time to be prepared for a pre-order. But I think we didn't realize how serious it was going to be. So we kind of just lounged around, played around, da 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 Because I wasn't sure if they were going to, like, do, like, um, a bundle. I know some of y'all probably seen that floating Spider-Man, like, um, PS5 going out there. So I was like, debate, I didn't want to like go ahead and pre-order and then I can't get the Spider-Man one, but come to find out that was like a fan-made video or I couldn't get like a pre-bundle. So I just lied dawed and just gaggled around and then not even in a blink of an eye, all the pre-orders were gone. So it was like, oh, okay. And then not only that, as we know, Walmart, they kind of dropped the ball and kind of did the pre-order when they weren't supposed to and then... Sony didn't say much about doing a pre-order and like we kind of just like it was just that was the beginning of the nightmare right there itself now and I had to put on the afro because I'm just feeling like but I get mad <laughs> so we know the launch was today I'm filming today today is November the 12th 2020 the official launch of PS5. And this also can go out to Xbox people who want the Xbox Series X, who 
so on my channel, I'm not doing no game war. All that's so childish. We know people do that just to like get likes or get some kind of attention. It's kind of sad, but do what you do. Um, but I realized that they had a hard time getting theirs as well. So I was hoping that PlayStation would have learned from that. And I was wrong. And this is why I never have hope. Yeah. Can I just tell you how my day went today? And I'm quite sure a lot of y'all, because I've seen a lot of comments, and the comments, pretty much every comment is a disaster. Today, actually no, last night, the 11th, I decided I was gonna stay up all night because Target was doing, I heard rumors that Target was gonna like go live at like around two or 1 a.m. I'm like, okay, I'm normally up a little late anyway. I can do that. And then I wasn't sure what time Best Buy or like, or GameStop was gonna do theirs. I knew that Walmart has their set times for today, which was 11. Three, six, and nine. We'll get to that. Okay. So I'm playing the Nintendo Switch last night from Donkey Kong with my sister. Da 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 da. Get done. Talk to my friend. Play some Dead by Daylight. She goes to bed. I'm like, you know what? I got this. I got this. Pierre, you're getting this PS5. You don't ever get anything in life. You didn't win Drag Race. You didn't win the Spell and Be in school. You are going to get a PS5. Like, like, it's your time. It's your time. It wasn't my time. Target is the first store that hurt my heart. And this happened to a lot of people. I kept refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. I probably have arthritis now in my fingers. And I managed to literally get the system in the cart. Everything was going through. I had my information in. I was processing. And then all of a sudden, it booted me out and it got rid of my system. Okay, I cry a little, not really, but I wanted to. I do it again. Same thing happens. I get the system in my cart, everything is good to go, and then somehow it starts bugging out and then it puts me out and I lose my item. Now, I don't know how it works. I, I heard that when you have something in your cart, it doesn't reserve it. In my mind, it should reserve it. If I have it in my cart, that means that I literally took it out of that inventory and it's about to be mine, so all I have to do is just press pay. Um, and that should be it. No, not with Target. So, okay, that's going on, what, going on close to three o'clock. I'm watching the Parkers on Netflix. I'm starting to get a little tired, but I'm still going. I see my bottles of Jergen lotion, cause you know, I was, I was, I was kind of feeling some kind of way. But I ignore that. You know, this is about PS5 right now. All that can wait. Refreshing, 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 refreshing. Target, I think, does it again. Still nothing. Okay. And there's a site, I don't know if, if y'all know about it, it's called Pop Finder. I probably shouldn't be telling y'all because so y'all don't know how the, all the tricks. But honestly, I don't even know if this page is that legit, but Pop Finder is like a site that lets you know what stores have what in stock. So I was able to see that there were like the highest amount I saw of PS5s in a, in a Target was like maybe 16 or something like that. And I'm like, okay, that sounds pretty cool. And then the lowest amount was probably like eight. So I'm like, I have a fair chance. So literally that last chance of doing Target, it took me from my original store that I chose, all of a sudden, because I couldn't go through and wouldn't process, they were sold out. Then I went to the, to the next store. I tried to do the same thing. It wouldn't process. They were sold out. Then they went to the further store. All of it kept selling out. So I'm just like, what is going on? There's no way that everybody has about $500 to drop right at a dime right now. Like, that's the other issue. 
in my opinion. Okay, I think it's nice that Sony and Xbox and them, well, I know, I know Sony for sure, did a thing where you don't have to pay the full price. You just like can pay on it and then pay towards it. The issue with that is that gave everybody a chance to get one. Because I'm ready to like shell, like, here you go, here's the money, you know, and get mines and get to go. And also, you know, they have a thing called bots where I guess people who are bots, they are able to like, is it infiltrate? Infiltrate? I'm not a mathematician. Um, they're able to just get a bunch of bots to like go on these sites literally right away and just snatch up every PlayStation and then they resell them on eBay for a higher price to get some kind of cash off of it. And these sites like Target, GameStop, Walmart, all of them, they don't have any like, what's it called, catchphrase or catcha to even see. And so it's just going to all the bots. So the next thing that was going good for me, but it caught me off guard. And I this one, I, I'll tell the truth, I kind of hesitated and probably that hesitation probably made it sell out. GameStop all of a sudden had a, had a bundle pack. And it was like $800 because I want the disc version. And it came with like two controllers, two games that I really don't care about, and like a PlayStation Plus card that I think I already have. And I'm like, do I really want to pay $800? Like, but then I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and secure it. I went to go do it. Gone. Gone. Okay. Kept refreshing GameStop. Mind you, this is going on like, what, six, seven in the morning. I still am like one eye sleep, like one eye up, one finger like this, like just, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so then I f lay down, I kind of dozed off a little bit, but was, was trying not to doze off because I didn't want to miss anything. And so come around, well, I don't know what time it was, but all of a sudden, because I kept checking Best Buy every now and then, but I wasn't as, I wasn't on Best Buy as I was with Target. But out of nowhere, I checked Best Buy, and then all of a sudden, they were able, you were able to try to purchase a system. As soon as I did that, I put it in my cart, same story, it's processing, it stopped processing. Did it twice. At this point, I was getting ready to throw my laptop, but then I realized it's an Apple, and so I didn't throw it. Now, if it would've been a Dell, I would've threw it, for sure. I'm just like, and then I keep checking Twitter to see if anybody else is angry like me, and people are angry, and it is crazy. So now the last saving grace, because right now it's going on six o'clock, which I mean to stop recording really soon, is Walmart. And I am a faithful, faithful, my fans know, I'm a faithful Walmart horror. Like I literally stay in Walmart. Like I literally can just stay in the bag and they know, they all know who I am. So I'm thinking, you know what? Walmart's not gonna let me down. Target bougie ass let me down. GameStop, uh, whatever, you know, they ain't that professional. Walmart got my back. No. <laughs> the 11 o'clock one comes. I think, okay, you know, well, I'm already, I've been on the site, I've been on my app, I've been on my phone, I've been on my laptop, I have it on the page, it's saying at 12 o'clock, it's gonna go, so I'm thinking that I don't really have to keep refreshing too much, it's gonna just show, you can now purchase. No, by the time I start refreshing stuff, which I, I had already opened up a new browser just in case, it was messing up, and it was like blank, and it was glitchy, and then all of a sudden there was a picture of a goddamn deer. Really, Walmart? Really? Really, though? Really? Okay, at this point, I'm starting to start laughing. It's, become, it's starting to become funny now. It's like, okay, you know what? They're trolling us. Well, PlayStation trolling us. All the retailers are, are trolling us. Three o'clock comes. This time I'm ready. I'm already, like, refreshing at three at, at 2.55. Refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. I get through around 3.02. The first time it went through, it literally right away said, out of stock, come back at six. And then I did it again, then it went back to three o'clock. I'm like, what? How did it go out of stock within a matter of y'all going right to three o'clock? So then I managed to get through. I'm like, okay, yes, yes, yes. I don't, look, I'm not even like trying to click any warranty. I don't care. I'm, I'm just like going to purchase, 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 purchase. It's kind of like going through, but then going slow. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the websites are going slow, all of a sudden. And then like, okay, I kept, Pressing it, pressing it, and then it started doing it. I'm like, okay, it's circling. Oh my, uh oh, 
It's getting ready to purchase. Oh, 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 ah. Now, all my information, I'm putting it. So now it has it where it's a saved item in my cart. Well, the cart that it was in a cart, but then they took away from the cart, and but it somehow it's still saved. So I'm hoping at six o'clock, which is like in 30 or 40 minutes, I can just go to my saved item and just right away press purchase and that's it. And nope, again. My hopes are gone, my dreams are gone, my nerves are shot, I don't know anymore. And it's so funny now, all the comments, somebody even said, like, it was like some kind of Illuminati. It was like, there's no such thing as a PS5. It's not real. It was made by the elite list. It's just to, it's just to make people crazy. I'm like, I'm starting to believe, like, I have a my aluminum foil bra. Maybe you're right. Maybe the PS5 doesn't exist. <laughs> How are y'all allowing all these bots and these things to happen and nobody that is an actual real person can get the game unless you're a celebrity, which for some people they consider me a celebrity, but I'm like at the bottom of the barrel kind of celebrity, so PlayStation ain't giving me shit. Not a goddamn thing. But people who can clearly afford, many of them, they're giving them away, like Travis, or I'm sure Beyonce and all her kids got some, and they just give, they, they're just throwing them out. But the average Joe, a mother who probably can't really afford it, but she wants to make her children happy for her Christmas, they don't give it to those kind of people. Just the celebrities. Just the popular, popular YouTubers. That's another thing. Okay, you know what? Like, congrats to y'all for getting every piece of hardware. And a lot of them don't even think, seem like they're that passionate about it. They're just doing it because they're getting paid for it. Congratulations. Like, yes, I am salty. Yep, you want to eat pepper to go with that salt? Yes, I do. But this is how they're able to keep their channels so popular because they get to review things way, 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 way back. And then by the time we get our things, Nobody cares anymore, and so you're reviewing your product, and people are like, who cares, I have mine. <laughs> it's just a mess, the way the world is. Anyway, I just had to go come on here and rant and just say, PlayStation, do better. Walmart, do better. Best Buy, do better. GameStop, do better. Target, do better. Like, do better. Like, this, is, this has to be one of the worst launches, like, in history for me. Like, I feel like I've normally just been able to, like, just get a PS3, get a PS4, and it wasn't that hard at all, but this time around, and I understand we're in a pandemic, but that's no excuse. Honestly, at this point, it would have been better to just allow people to camp at the stores and go inside physically because the online stuff, if y'all not gonna do it right and y'all got bots and people like buying up 20 at a time, that's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work. And you screwed up this day, you screwed up. And I know that none of us have to have it on the day of, but a lot of us feel like we have to. We don't want to feel lame. We're like, but you know, I want to feel like I like the iPhone. Like I have a new iPhone right away. I want to have the newest thing right now and then, but it may not happen for us this time. We may have to wait a couple of days or weeks. Hey y'all, I'm driving right now, which none of y'all do this at home. So I gave it one last shot, you guys, and I'm kind of hurt, a little down right now, but a Target that was like 40 minutes from me um, told me yesterday that they had some in store that you could pick up the next day, but you just couldn't get it offline. I know I don't get it. So, I call myself going to bed early because the girls said they only had like four in stock. So I went to bed early, got up around 2 a.m., got ready, got to the Target around four o'clock, I get there, it has to be, I, I feel like it was a family. Like literally everybody knew each other. Had to be about six of them out there. Some had chairs. Already in line to get the damn PS5. So now I'm just headed home. It's, it's like going on 440 now. That's why I hate trying. Like when I like, like you know, you try hard, try hard, things to pay off. I tried hard, still didn't pay off. Uh, I'm like, I'm wondering what time did they even get there? Did they just camp there all night? I'm so over it right now. I'm pissed. I really am. Anyway, you guys, I just had to let y'all know what else happened. So, talk to you later. Uh, anyway, this is a channel where you can, or, or a video where you can come and rant about it. If it's something that's affecting you, just keep it cute. Um, keep it mute or get the boot, but just, you know, go ahead and rant. Tell me what y'all think. What do y'all feel about this? Are y'all having a hard time? Have any of y'all got some good luck out there getting this system? 
Anyway, as always, everybody out there, good luck. Remember to stay beat, stay beautiful, and most importantly, stay blessed. Bye, y'all. Kima Cho.